In this video we shall overview the main database we shall work with. As it was mentioned, we shall work with MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle database. So now we shall review our database for all those three DBMSs. We shall use a database of some imaginary library. On infological level, this database looks similar for all three DBMSs. In our database we have books, we have genres, and of course each book may belong to several genres, and each genre may contain several books. We have authors, and of course each author may be an author of several books, and each book may be written by several authors. And we have subscribers. And those subscribers may take some book on some date and may plan to return that book on that particular date. And this field may contain either value yes, so the subscription is active and the book is not returned, or no, so the subscription is not active and the book is returned. On data logical and physical level, in MySQL and other DBMSs, we may see only some details in data types and in some internal mechanisms, but all those tables and connections between tables are the same. For Microsoft SQL Server we see the same picture, the same tables and the same relationships between those tables, but only some little difference in data types and in some internal mechanisms we shall talk about later. And of course in Oracle the idea is the same. The same tables, the same relationships, but some difference in data types and in some internal mechanisms we shall discuss later. Let's look at the data. For books we have some identifier for each book, title for each book, publishing year and the quantity of that book in our library. For authors we have only the identifier and the author name and of course in real life we may have a lot a lot a lot of more data here, but for educational purpose we shall use such a simplified approach. For genres we also have an ID and genre name. For subscribers we also have an ID and subscriber name. And please pay attention that this is not a mistake. We have two subscribers with exactly the same name. This was made on purpose to show and explain some SQL queries we shall see further in our course. Now we shall look at our association relations. So this table, here it is, shows that the book with such an ID, the book is here, was written by an author with that ID, the author is here. And we may also see that the same author with that ID has written that book, the book is here. The next association relation shows the connection between books and genres. And we may see that book with ID 1, that book is here in the table, belongs to both this and this genres from this table. And the last table, subscriptions. It contains the ID of a subscription, the ID of a subscriber, the ID of a book, the start date when the book was taken and the finish date when the book was returned and the information about was this book really returned, so here it is, the subscription is not active or if this book was not returned, the subscription is active, as in this case. And such combinations of dates are also not a mistake. This was made on purpose to show how several specific queries work. Now let's extract some data. We shall use select query, we shall name all necessary fields, we shall use book name, author name, genre name, and we shall extract that information from several tables. So we shall use join operator here. That operator will be described in details further in our course. And once we execute such a query, we shall receive the following result. Here are our books names, author names, genres names, 
and you may see that there are some duplications here, some duplications here, or maybe even here. Of course, that's not a convenient form, but later in our course we shall see and discuss how to transform this non-convenient form into something better. Now let's execute another query. We shall select book name, subscriber ID, subscriber name, the start and the finish date of a subscription. Once again, we shall use join operator to select that data from several independent tables. And once we execute such a query, we shall get the following result. Here is our book name, subscriber ID, subscriber name, subscription start and subscription finish. As you see, we've used MySQL syntax for these two queries. And now please pause the video and try to rewrite those queries for Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle.